Hey everyone, Miss Griffith here. I am here for you today with a reading lesson. In this reading lesson, I am going to be using the Sonde Intervention Kit. This is the kit that I have used in previous videos. I am going to go ahead and get started. The first portion of Sonde lessons is always to read sounds. I'm going to uh, make my way through the sound cards here and anytime I come across a vowel, so A-E-I-O-U, I'm going to make the short vowel sound and the long vowel sound. If your learner is doing this or something similar to this at home, you would want to encourage them to make that short and long vowel sound. Er, I, J, Sh, U, E, B, F, V, E, E, W, A, O. Uh, you, d, z, y, a, 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 k, g, n, p, x, m. Now that we have made our way through reading sounds, we are going to work on spelling sounds. I'm going to dictate a sound and then I'm also going to write it. Ah. Eh. B. G. Sh. We've read sounds and we've spelled sounds. If your learner is doing this or something similar to this at home, you can have them read the letters as they finish up writing them. So, A, A, I, I, B, B, G, G, S, H, Sh. All right, so we've read sounds and spelled sounds. Now, the next portion of the lesson is to read words. I am going to do a mixture of words today, so it'll just be um, a little bit of everywhere, short vowel sounds and things like that. Cut. Let. Hot. Pin, map, tub, mess, lot, sin, am. Practice, practice, practice reading. These are the words that I chose to review for the reading words portion of the lesson. After reading words is spelling words. So because I did a review for the reading portion, I'm also going to do a review for the spelling portion and just uh, choose many different letter sounds to work on for the spelling portion. 
I'm going to dictate a word and then I'm also going to write it on the board. Sick. Less. Bet. Tub. Can. Feet. If your learner is doing this or something similar to this at home, you can have them practice reading the words that they just wrote. Sick, less, bet, tub, can, and feet. After, after spelling words, it could be beneficial and would be beneficial for um, practice on writing sentences if you're able to do this at home. You would want to dictate a sentence and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say a sentence once or twice and the learner would be responsible for remembering the order of the words, writing the words, writing the sounds that make those words. So it is practicing a lot of skills. I can see the duck. I'm gonna say it one more time. I can see the duck. After your learner writes the sentence that they have heard, you can have them read that sentence to you. I can see the duck. If your learner is practicing writing at home during this activity or a similar activity, you would want to encourage space in between the words. You would want to encourage capital letters at the beginning of sentences and punctuation at the end of the writing as well. Now, the last part of the Sunday lesson is to practice reading aloud. For this, you can have your learner read any text within your home environment. For today's lesson, I am going to use sentences that were generated from the Sunday kit for use of use with this lesson, excuse me. When you are working on reading sentences or reading aloud, it builds your learners reading fluency, reading accuracy, and reading phrasing. Here we go. Dan will pick the weeds, pack the sheets, in the box. Can you run to the hill? Liz can feed six fish. I need to pay cash to the man. In a week, I will get a fish. Dash from the hill to the shack. If you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching the video. Thank you learners.